Well, we have new details tonight on that violent scene earlier this month that saw bullets fly at a Ramadan celebration. Authorities now say there are more suspects still out there. This is the 10 o'clock news. I'm Jason Martinez. And I'm Don Timoney. Three people were hurt in that shooting back on April 10th. So far, five suspects have been taken into custody. Our Steve Keeley live at police headquarters for the latest. Steve. Yeah, while city leaders and top investigators went back to the scene this afternoon to update the media on their investigation and hopefully uplift the community there before their next big event in the same place tomorrow. There are more people involved. I'm saying to you, turn them in. Turn them in. Because the one thing you don't want, you don't want this smoke coming to your house. Prosecutors came back to the scene of the crime to reveal they now know for sure that there were more armed people and more guns involved than that April 10th shooting that marred the Ramadan celebration here in Clara Muhammad Park. They know that because of the 33 bullet shell casings known as fired cartridge casings or FCCs, only 13 found to be fired from the six total guns recovered that day. Five handguns and an AR style rifle, meaning that more than half the shots fired, 20 of the 33, were fired by guns not yet recovered and by people not yet caught or identified. If you were one of the people that are pulling the trigger, I would tell you right now before we ask the police department or the sheriff's department to come and find you at 6 in the morning, that you turn yourself in now. A 21-year-old man without a prior criminal history is the only adult charged, along with four juveniles, all 15 and 16-year-olds. Four juvenile individuals that are in the process today of being charged as adults. We are not just dedicated to the first five who've been arrested. We are dedicated to making sure anyone and everyone else involved is arrested, and we are also dedicated should they have been involved in some other things, which, oh yes, they might, we are also dedicated to making sure that we figure all of that out. There is another large event here tomorrow, a community day in the same park. And instead of fear or nerves, city leaders urge everyone to come out and feel safe and secure. We're going to have an event tomorrow. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be one of the safest events you've ever been in your, in your life. We will not allow anyone to uh, hold us hostage in our neighborhoods where we can't come out with our families and fellowship and enjoy uh, life and enjoy each other. And so police promised that community lots of officers around tomorrow just to make sure everybody attending this community event feels protected, especially since prosecutors and detectives now believe more shooters and the other guns that fired those other fired 20 shell casings, wherever they came from, still out on the streets somewhere in West Philadelphia. Jason Don. All right, Steve Keeley there. Thank you very much.